everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Football from Gaming here, and today we are playing some more uh, Cookie Run Oven, Cookie Run Kingdom. Sorry, mind a bit flustered, and we're not really playing, as you can probably see from the title and thumbnail and whatever. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the future story of this game. So first of all, uh, I sh probably should have gone to, to, I probably should have gone to this a while ago, uh, but in case you didn't know. Um, last time, a couple of videos ago, I almost beat the story for this game. I sort of did. I saw the end credits, and then they're like, Oh, but, 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 you, you didn't actually win, because timing and blah. So, yeah, we didn't actually win. We lost. Annoyingly enough. Uh, so we have a couple more levels for, um, what's his face? What's his name? Vampire Cookie. Are we at all close to leveling this up? Part of me is tempted to try to level up the Pilgrim Slingshot one more time before we get into this. Uh, I'll just do the single treasure draw. No, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna be redoing the story, the final chapter, first. It also gives a bit of a recap for you guys if you haven't seen the ending. Obviously, there will be spoilers in case, in case that wasn't painfully obvious. There will be spoilers for this, but yeah. So I'm gonna try my best to actually beat the stage properly this time. It's still a hard stage, so this may take me a try or two, but basically... Today, I'm perfectly here to talk about uh, the future story of this game. So I think it's a pretty interesting situation, because a lot of stuff has happened in this game. We have a lot of story that's not necessarily all at the same time. We don't know exact timelines for when the, like, Tower Sweet Chaos happened, or for when the, uh, like, all the stuff with the Tropical Suda Islands. We don't know if that's, like, well in the past, well in the future. We don't know exact timelines for any of this stuff, which is pretty interesting. First off, we just have to defeat Dark Enchantress Cookie quickly and show the story. I say quickly, this could be very hard. It's been a while, and my Vampire Cookie, he's three levels higher. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be enough to make this an easy battle. So hopefully, this won't take too, too long, but it totally could. There we go. Okay, so we did well to start off. That's not bad. I'm going to try my very best to remember this strategy. I think we're good. That was pretty quick. That wasn't that fast, but that was pretty decent. I have to hope I can keep this up. We'll see. We'll know pretty quickly if my timing is completely awful and I have to redo this. Uh, if this takes me too long, obviously you won't see the failed attempts, but it'll suck on my part if it takes a while. So hopefully, I won't take too long to beat this stage. That would really stuck. Okay, that was a really close to a failure right there. We did good damage, but oh, we almost lost cookies right there and then, so that didn't go very well. Uh, that's usually not a good start if you lose your cookies straight away. Okay, we're gonna heal up for a second. We need to wait for cooldowns and ability, ability spam. Lots of damage. Okay, down to 7.5 mil. Our damage is okay right now. Uh, I think we're going pretty well timeline-wise, but it's not perfect. So I would rather we just be doing a bit more. It's almost at half health. We are almost half timeline wise. So in terms of just that, we're doing pretty well. But obviously there's a lot more into it. That was really bad. We messed that one up or I messed that one up. I say we. It's entirely on me. You guys don't have a ton of control over my movement. So if I mess up, I mess up. Is it down to less than 4 million? We should be good, realistically. Like we're in a pretty good situation right now. So we should be fine. But it's not always that obvious, and you want to make sure you're good. So, you know, obviously, I want to make sure we're well more than enough. Okay, we lost Pomegranate Cookie. That's probably a defeat then. We have 30 seconds left. We could totally still do this. Uh, but losing Pomegranate hurts. Actually, you know what? It's down to 700,000 health. We'll have one more charge. We probably still have this in the bag. Like, truth be told, we're probably still good. It's at 400,000 health. No, we failed, right? We lost? Yeah. Okay, so that was really close. Sorry about that. Um, I'm probably gonna cut now until I actually win, because that sucked. That was really close. I was so close to winning there. If I hadn't lost Pomegranate, we would have been good, but we were not. You Feel free to use this as a guide to how to actually beat the stage. I'm not doing perfectly, obviously, but I do know how to play this level. I have tried way too many times. This is like my 20th attempt on the stage, so it's a bit painful for me, but... I do know what I'm doing. Anyways, I'll see you when we are about to win. Okay, we have this in the bag. It has 200,000 health currently. We got this. Right, we're fine? Yeah. We rush, we crushed that. Eight seconds left. I probably could have showed that, but basically I did the same thing with slightly better timing. Or not even slightly better timing. Pomeranian Cookie survived. So, 
yeah, we're back. We're this. So first, I'm just going to go over the regular story again. This is the ending. We'll watch it again, go through it. And then I'm going to add into Dark Mode and talk about thoughts for the continuation of this story. So first off, I was so close. Soul Jam in my grasp. You foolish crumb for brain pests. Crumble, all of you. Oh, right. Tries to destroy us. No, stop. Pure Vanilla Freed, save us. Yeah, I've already seen this. If you haven't, I've already watched this, so yeah. Uh, I'm not very surprised, because I've already seen this already. If you haven't seen what happened, it was weird. Check out the previous video. I, I even have a short version called them, uh, Cook Your Own Kingdom Bad Ending. I found it pretty hilarious, so feel free to check that out. What? Huh? How? You're still in one piece? Is everyone alright? Pure Vanilla Cookie, you protected us! Thank goodness. I was able to protect everyone this time. Impossible! How disappointing! My intri intricately crafted plan, gone to crumbs! Was it meant to end this way? Pomegranate cookie saves Dark Enchantress cookie. Dark Enchantress cookie. Though unfortunate, I shall guide you to safety. Yes, you shall, because you have a master plan. Are we too late? Oh, Pure Vanilla Cookie! You're alright! Black Raisin Cookie! You've come to the aid of the one who has betrayed your village? Well, I can't say that I wasn't angry before. But I too would have no choice but to leave. Congratulations, Pure Vanilla Cookie. The Vanilla Kingdom can now start rebuilding. Am I supposed to call you King now? King. I have in fact been pondering about abdicating the throne. Why? How can you say that? Yeah, I've, I've already seen this. If you want to see it once again, just me actually going through it, check out my ending video. I actually have more emotion then. I've already seen this and it's much less emotional the second time around. I wish to make this place a kingdom belonging to all cookies. A home for all, with no king and no subjects. A home for the cookies of the desolate village. A haven for cookies who have escaped the oven. The true kingdom for all. Flavors, textures, none of this will matter. All will be welcome to live in happiness. The village has opened my eyes. A noble cause. That's why I love our village. We are poor and hungry, but we always had each other's backs. Living here doesn't seem too bad either. The villagers might finally get the chance to pursue their dreams. What do you think, everyone? Should we try to build a new life here? I'm good with the broom. I can clean up the streets. I like organizing things. Can I mean shout out to recycling? Excuse me, Pure Vanilla Cookie. Are you sure about this? The kingdom has just been returned to you. I have finally dawned upon the truth. We are all kings and heroes. Do you not wish to live in such a kingdom? The orange text still bothers me. I feel like there's like a secret code or something at this point. He's right. Our king doesn't have a king. But we work together to build it from nothing. That's true. This is the way. The way of us cookies! So, what's your next move? I've still a task at hand. I must find all my friends. The ancient heroes? Yes, my closest friends. Together we've been through thick and thin, and I miss them greatly. I do, however, have a request to make. What happened to Dark Enchantress Cookie? Is there some hidden truth that I did not notice, despite having spent years beside her? What was she saw that was twisted her very soul? Can you find out the reason why she's chosen this path? We sure can. Leave it to us. We'll find out why Dark Enchantress Cookie is doing this. And on our way, we'll make sure that all cookies are safe and happy. Thank you, all of you. I will cherish the memories we've made together on our journey. May you remain crispy and fresh in your journeys. To be continued. I remember this. That took a while, I'm not gonna lie. It's nice to actually win with 8 seconds to spare this time game. I appreciate that. So yeah, in case you are unaware, just a quick recap of what happened there. Um, so, our heroes were victory, we saved Pure Vanilla, it, clear, yes, cool, thank you, thank you, cool, sure, cool, I'm good, I'm happy, thank you, thank you, yes, awesome, cool. Back to dark mode, cause it's story time, or prediction time, I guess, predictions ahead. So yeah, basically, we rescued Pure Vanilla Cookie when we defeated the monster, cause he was using Pure Vanilla's power, his soul jam, to help him out, and basically, this time, we defeated it, we broke free the last, he was free, he had his own power with him again, and the last minute when it tried to do a final blow on us, using all of Dark Enchantress Cookie's powers, he saved us using his light, like, glowing shield, magic shield things. So, we were saved, we won, and Pomegranate Cookie rescued Dark Enchantress Cookie as she's weak and injured, and the two of them, and likely the rest of their teams, so like Dark Enchantress Cookie, uh, or, sorry, Dark Chakra Cookie, Licorice, um, poison Mushroom, Red Velvet Cookie, all of them probably ran away with her. So then, here's the point that I'm curious. I mentioned this briefly at the beginning, but this is the big part where all of my theories will stem from. 
the idea of timeline order. I haven't done a timeline video, I haven't seen any timeline videos, maybe that's something cool to try to make. But basically, as far as I can tell, we don't have a definitive timeline for a lot of things. Such as, the big one here, obviously, the Tropical Sword Islands are a part of it, there are something you can mention. Uh, we definitely don't have a timeline for whenever that stuff happens, but we can just assume at some point during this journey, or perhaps after. But one thing we really don't know that's a big, much bigger deal is the timeline events of the Tower of Sweet Chaos. Because the Tower of Sweet Chaos, in case you didn't know, has big impacts on the story. It tells us the true reason, the true backstory of Dark Enchantress Cookie, aka White Lily Cookie. It talks about... Um, what am I trying to say? It talks about Red Velvet Cookie as he builds the cookie armor, introduces the uh, Pastry Revenant, or the Pastry Order, or the Saint Pastry Order, or whatever it's called, the Pastry People, the Revenant, the Order, all of those people grouped. They're all the same group, I just don't know their exact name. The Cookies of the Revenant, I honestly don't know. Talks about all of them, how Pastry Cookie is this light warrior that doesn't really know what's happening, but then there's also these, like, shadow dark people working for the top of the Order to try to, like, hide the truth about the witches, potentially defending the witches. But Pastry Cookie in the lower Order and the lower ranks doesn't know about what happened to the witches. They don't know the truth, but she saw it when Dark Enchantress Cookie showed her the past through her own eyes. So that's all lots of interesting story. Between these two stories that aren't- they're very interlocking, but not necessarily exact timelines of when each one takes place, there's a lot of stuff that's very important and you can use to work together to create some pretty interesting theories, which is basically the point of today. So, yeah, that's what happened. It's pretty weird, but the big question is, is the, uh, is the, man, why is my brain going blank on it? Is the Tower of Sweet Chaos, for whatever reason I'm having a hard time remembering that name, is the Tower of Sweet Chaos, does it take place, all that story, after this final battle. Because here's the thing. The cookie, the Tower of Sweet Chaos does actually, um, in terms of timeline, the update was released after chapter 9 and 10, which points towards it taking place after. But a common theme in this story, or in this game, is that, obviously in part it's just natural timeline-wise, but story is generally organized by power level, by like how difficult the stages are. Obviously, the Tower of Sweet Chaos, for the most part, was much easier than chapters 9 and 10. Though, obviously, the later floor is probably not so much, but the story-based floors definitely were. So that could just be because they really wanted everyone to know the story, because it was helpful no matter what stage necessarily you were at in the main story, or it was to symbolize that it was taking place earlier on in the story. Since their power levels remained around 100-ish thousand, maybe closer to 200,000, that suggests closer to chapter 8, maybe early chapter 9, taken timeline-wise. Which would make a lot of sense, that Dark Enchantress Cookie and Red Velvet Cookie were making their army in Chapter 9, and by the time Chapter 10 hit, they were charging in, they had taken over the Vanilla Kingdom once more. That would make sense, in terms of story-wise, but it's also possible that this takes place afterwards, and that basically, after we defeat them, after we defeat the evil cookies, the dark cookies, we then move on, uh, Pomegranate Cookie rescues Dark Enchantress Cookie, and brings her to a safe place, a haven, a place where they can work together and grow their plans, the Tower of Sweet Chaos, which has likely been their base for quite a while now, or perhaps a recent base discovery after they lost the kingdom, is the Tower of Sweet Chaos, where Red Velvet Cookie is working to rebuild the army in preparation for another final assault, working with all the dark cookies, all the evil cookies, all in one place, as Dark Enchantress Cookie recovers, Pomegranate Cookie takes over more, which you do see in the Tower of Sweet Chaos. Pomegranate Cookie seems to be more in charge. She's definitely still, like, taking orders from Dark Enchantress Cookie, but Dark Enchantress Cookie seems far weaker and less out of it, and more out of it, which would make sense if she just, or even recently, suffered a major loss, a big battle after using so much of her power and she was defeated. If you saw that image in those end credits there, she was really weak. She seemed very injured and defeated Dark Enchantress Cookie, which would have a big impact on her ability to take charge and control the operations of their growing army, the growing Red Velvet army, which is getting pretty crazy at this point. And another interesting thing to support this is that in the Tower of Sweet Chaos, they're actually producing all types of enemy, which obviously, once again, is clearly for balancing reasons. I'm not suggesting that that's the old, their intention, but 
They're creating enemy types from all variations, all different settings. Obviously, I'm gonna ignore the cookies for this, but as well as all variations of bosses. Lots of different enemies from lots of different uh, chapters, from all the different chapters, all their enemies and bosses were all brought together. As well as, I think a couple times you do fight some of the evil cookies. It's pretty interesting. I find that works around pretty well. So if they are, if it does take place after, their World Dark Enchantress cookie is recovering from her battle with us, from her defeat. They, in the main case, for the most part, being Pomegranate and Red Velvet cookie, are working towards building the Red Velvet army again. Building Dark Enchantress cookie's army for something. We don't exactly know what it's for. For all we know, it could be a revenge plot to either take control of the uh, Pure Vanilla Kingdom or the Kingdom again. The Vanilla Kingdom, or it could be to take control of our Kingdom, or just generally to get revenge on us. Or it could be for something else. We know in the Tower of Sweet Chaos that Pastry Cookie is in there. She's infiltrating the Tower. The Legion, the Order, the Revenant knows about the Tower. And perhaps this is how Dark Enchantress Cookie, Pomegranate, and all those people are finding out about the Revenant, about how there are cookies willfully t losing their lives, their soul jams, I guess, to defend the witches, to hide the secrets, the dark secrets about the witches that are likely leading to many, many cookies' deaths and terrible lives of slavery for a number of cookies as they either work with the witches as slaves or become food for them. It's a pretty horrible fate that the Revenant is not only keeping secret, but is actually likely encouraging it to happen, helping, likely helping gather cookies and defeating forces that would seek to defeat the witches, try to save cookies. I think that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna use some gems here because I do want to do just a bit more story. And dark, I like having dark mode in the background here. I am still paying a bit of attention, but I am putting it on auto so I can focus more on the story ahead. But yeah, I think it's pretty crazy and if this is the case, I mentioned this a couple times in some earlier videos talking about the story, but I obviously wanted to take another look now that I know all the pieces. It really does seem like Dark Enchantress Cookie is ready for a battle, potentially against all of us. I think it's pretty likely, as you can tell from that end credit, Pure Vanilla's like, oh, I'll have to go find the others. Obviously, for story-wise, they're clearly going to be going off in chapters, essentially, for searching for each of the ancient cookies. You could l very easily say that the first chapter, debatably the second, is about White Lily Cookie. The first, like, six, seven chapters were all focused around White Lily Cookie. Even the first eight, the beginning of the game, is all focused around White Lily Cookie. And I would not be surprised, in fact, I'd be, I'd be, I think it's pretty likely that in the future, they're going to be going into, for the next couple chapters, searching for the remaining three ancient cookies. So, like, the Golden Cheese Cookie... Um, the original, like, Dark Choco Cookie, I don't know if his name is, like, Dark Coco, I think he's, like, Dark Coco or something like that. Like, the Coco Cookie, Dark Choco Cookie's father. So they might be talking about that, and all of those three remaining that they're gonna be going in search for, which I'm assuming are still alive. And I have a feeling either, A, we'll be collecting these ancient cookies in part a way to build our forces, collect, like, generals to go against Dark Enchantress Cookie's ever-growing army, or in order to confront her at the tower for the last time, perhaps? Or maybe we're growing it and then we're gonna team up with the Revenant, the Pastry Cookie Order, against Dark Chocolate, uh, Dark Enchantress Cookie. They're gonna work with us, get us to help them defeat the people trying to save us, the Dark Enchantress Cookie and her army, essentially. And if that's true, I think it would be really interesting to see. I think it's actually pretty likely that Pastry Cookie and the Order are going to be working with us in the next coming chapters, but will more than likely end up betraying us in the long run, trying to either throw us and Dark Enchantress Cookie all together. So, like, we'll help them defeat Dark Enchantress Cookie, and then the Revenant and Order will take both us and Dark Enchantress Cookie's people and give us all to the witches as, like, a grand feast or something. And then we'll have to work together with Dark Enchantress Cookie. I feel like this is a good end goal, and I think it's a really likely end goal for the story at this point, is us battling the witches. That's almost for sure going to happen at some point, is some grand finale. But I think it would be really cool if leading up to that there will be some sort of like, team up with the pastry cookies and then betrayal, and then eventually team up with Dark Enchantress Cookie to battle the witches once and for all. 
and perhaps beforehand, likely beforehand, that's probably far in the future, chapter 15, 16, or later, um, but currently in the next couple chapters, which honestly are probably coming out pretty soon, if you look at timeline-wise, chances are the next coming chapters are gonna be here pretty soon, chapters 11, 12, it's, it's been a while since the chapter 9 and 10 update, so we're probably gonna get chapters 11 and 12 in the pretty near future, so it would be more than possible that we're gonna see us collecting the ancient cookies in the future, as we slowly gain more information about the Revenant and the Evil Cookies, perhaps in addition to the Tower of Sweet Chaos, like a second story section or who knows what. But then at the same time, we are going to collect the Ancient Cookies and do all these team-ups until we finally end up having to work together with Dark Enchantress Cookie, perhaps purifying her back into White Lily Cookie in some way. Perhaps by the ending will be, after we defeat the Witches, we're able to use, like, the magic oven or something like that to turn her back into White Lily Cookie to uncook her, essentially, unburn her to help her, to heal her. That would be a cool ending. That's definitely an option. Or we'll just be there and we'll work with them to rescue, defeat the witches, save and rescue the remaining cookies, or perhaps get captured in the end of the story leading into, you know, Cookie One Oven Break. Cough, cough. Go check out that video about how Cookie One Kingdom is clearly the prequel to Cookie One Oven Break. Yeah, you should go take a look at that. I guess it could also be the sequel, but I'm pretty sure it's the prequel. Check out that video if you're curious about that. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Do you think we, in the near future, are going to be collecting the ancient cookies and teaming up with the pastry cookies? Do you think they're going to be good guys in the long run? It's just a bit of a weird story with them, and they're going to turn out to be good people that work with us to defeat Dark and Changes Cookie, who is the real villain? Do you think the witches are going to end up being good in this series? A lot of people think this is going to be some, like, alternate dimension, and that the witches are actually going to turn out, at least in some way, good, or not as evil in this version. Or at the very least, that they won't end up being the final, like, boss or battle or something like that. But I don't know, I'm still sort of convinced. That's my opinion, Those, that's what I think is going to happen based on all the information we've been given. Let me know your opinions, if you agree, disagree, what you think. Well, I agree with this, but I think that these people are bad, or these people will do this, or they will die, or lose, or something like that. Or maybe you think this is completely wrong, and something completely different is going to happen. Let me know. If you want, you can give some actual, like, reasoning behind it. That's always a, that's always best, if you have some reason to back it up. Uh, maybe I'll even do a second part to this video where... I go over some of you guys' theories, if there's enough of them, and if I think they're interesting and well done enough, I'll probably do another video talking about you guys' theories. But yeah, this has been a long video, this has taken a while. Hopefully you guys like this. Once again, let me know your theories, ideas. If you did enjoy this, consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the Purple Elephant Squad. I make videos like this every once in a while for Cookie and Kingdom because I think it's pretty fun and interesting to talk about it. So you know, if you want to see more of those, let me know. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!